My name is Alain Favier. I come from France. I represent a company called Exact World. Actually, I was going to be here with uh, Monsieur Pierre Jourda from the Printemps department stores to present a case study of our technology in their stores. But he had a last minute problem, so I'm left alone. So I hope to present the same thing in a different, I mean, from the manufacturer and not from the user. So I would have preferred you hear it from the user, uh, but now you will have to hear it from me. So to change the slides, I press on this? Yes. OK. So someone's missing. That's Pierre Jourda. That's me, introduced. So Exact World, uh, French engineering, uh, true, real manufacturing company, headquartered in uh, Paris for our offices. And we have our fully owned factory in Budapest, where we employ over 200 people. We have subsidiaries in Germany, in Italy, and in Mexico, and distributors, I think, in 12 countries. So what I want to present today is, is, is a new technology that comes from EAS to the future. So it's very difficult to present something so new in such, so, such short time, but I'll do my best. So I'm going to start speaking about the challenges of our major customers of the past two years. I'm mainly talking about department store, textile chains, optical chains, nothing to do with food. So this is textile um, and all the accessories around textile. So first of all, we've been commented about the visual challenges of the uh, EAS tags that are too big, too heavy, unsightly, and globally in opposition with the co corporate ambition of major chains. So then comes the security challenge, where a significant amount of tampered tags are found every day around every store in every fitting room. Shrinkage rates are going up. So why did this happen is that these tags, uh, I mean, th those two tags, I started selling them in, back in 1991 for the long one and maybe 1997 for the round one, and have virtually been unchanged for 15 to 20 years. So that gave a lot of time to shoplifters to learn how to defeat them. That gave a lot of time for the, t the detaching mechanisms and the keys to open them to reach the internet and to let the time for videos uh, if you type how to remove a tag, you will have a, a big choice. So globally, um, the security of EAS is highly compromised today. Then another big challenge is that these security tags damage goods, especially textile goods, especially sensitive goods. Um, they leave permanent marks, they leave holes. Uh, the pins are often with grooves or they're of very bad quality because the prices, the only thing that has changed in EAS is the price going down, 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 down in the past 15 years. I've been doing EAS for over 20 years. So this is a big problem. And then you have many lines that cannot be protected or properly protected, such as ties, scarves, sensitive fabrics, or it takes a very long time to protect them because you have to find the seam, put the pin, put the tag, fold it back, and make sure you don't damage. Then the handling of the tags plus the pin is a nightmare because at the end of the day, you, you re recollect all the tags and all the pins. Here, they're nicely separated, but before they were mixed. And people pinch each other. The pins, when they're alone, they get deteriorated. So every time they turn, they damage more, and they damage more, and they damage more. Uh, so big challenge. It's very time consuming uh, to, to uh, you know, put these tags, remove them, and recycle them. So an answer to this, you've probably heard, is sewing uh, security labels into garments. We believe it's not the way of the future, because for several reasons, uh, because you have to deactivate them, because the security is even more compromised, because they reactivate, 
because if you use RFID, the RFID chip lives with the garment. It's expensive. So we're gonna, we think that's also a challenge. Then another problem with EAS is it, it doesn't really federate in an organization, in a big you know, clothing chain, department, store. And there's low budgets awarded that every year are lower and lower and lower. So to overcome the challenges, Exact World developed over five years and about five million euros invested, uh, what we call the first multifunction smart tag. So the initial specifications is to have a high security tag that cannot be detached with any of the existing detachers, with any of the tools you can find in the internet, or can be forced by hand. That was the, the challenge we had to defeat. Then a tag that could be detected by existing EAS. It's important, because some EAS systems are, are good. A tag to cover all items in the textile world, everything, including silk, ties, scarves, sensitive fibers, lingerie, bathing suits, everything, without damaging, obviously. A tag, a tag aesthetically in accordance with a corporate image of the stores, because these stores spend a fortune in, in their logos, in how they look, um, in, you know, to, to, to be appealing to the customers. And so the tags, they should be the same. So here you have uh, the tag of printemps, the synoptic of printemps, where you have four in one. You have the bottom part, uh, which is this one here, where you have the anti-theft device, so compatible with RF or AM. Then here in the middle, you have a series of holes difficult to see at this distance, which are what we call the parking holes. So when the tag is delivered to, your, to the stores, the pin and the tag are parked together. They're not separated. So when you're gonna tag, you just separate them. And when you, when you detach, instead of throwing this in one bin and this in another one, you attach them. And they are recirculated together. And this allowed us, instead of using a nail, to use a needle, a fashion needle, uh, made by a fashion needle manufacturer. So needles don't deteriorate anything, silks, nothing, because they're used to make uh, silk products. Then um, we, we, we thought it was very imp important to carry the corporate image of each of these chains. So here, for example, you have Adidas with a size M. Here you have, um, it's difficult to see at this distance, you have two images that change depending on the angle. You have printemps and printemps.com. Um, so you can have uh, all sorts of, uh, here you have a fixed image of printemps. So we brought to the tag one of the most important items of a, a brand, which is its, its logo and its colors. So the tag can be red, black, white. It, have, it can have the crocodile for Lacoste, the horse for Ralph Lauren, the coupole for printemps, etc. Um, and you have the reduction of damaged goods, uh, high quality needle, because with this needle, you will not damage goods, so you will reduce the expense of damaging goods, you will protect much more. And uh, on the anti-theft side, you have a new lock that has a unique detacher that, that's compliant. So the, the detacher of the dual tag opens older tags, but older detachers don't open the dual tag. So it's the first multifunction tag. And what's very important is it's gonna take you about one third of the time to recycle. Uh, a chain, uh, a small chain that has uh, four million tags and an inventory rotation of three uh, is gonna save about 90, 85,000 hours, which is about a million euros per year, just on the savings of time. And just those savings will help pay for the change of, of tags. Then you have versus one-in-one -one tag. The only thing you can do is anti-shoplift, and it's expensive to, to put, it, it damages goods, and it doesn't look well. Then we, we took it further. Uh, we, we said, let's, let's make a tag that carries corporate and marketing messages, I already said that, corporate logo, dot com logo, size, rebates, 
a tag that solves the pin management problem. I spoke about it. So makes the tagging process faster, the recycling of tags and pins easier, and reduces the potential hazard to store personnel and customers. In the United States, in some chains, some employees, they pinch themselves just to sue their employers. A tag that is manufactured in Europe, high quality and reliability. So we have very quick response and adaptability. A tag manufacturer capable of supporting major retailers in migrating from tags to dual tags. So it's no longer a concept. We have major chains around Europe that have completely swapped their older tags to dual tags. So when you go to dual tag, instead of hiding it because it's ugly and it damages, customers have a tendency to show it because it has your logo and it will have other things I will tell you. So we have to create new tagging procedures. We're gonna tag products never tagged before, so we have to include them. Uh, the, position, the position of the tag changes. Um, also, as we're going to have, you know, for example, a, a chain, we have some uh, bathing suit chains that put the size, so they have several sizes. You have to be able to sort those tags at the end of the day. So we have sorting machines that you put all the tags and we'll put the small, medium, large uh, in, in different bags so they're ready, ready, ready to reuse. And one thing we found out is that once you solve the problems of the tags, they don't damage. You recover the security level. You have your corporate image. You can tag everything. You can, you can include inside. Sorry. So this is um, something that came from Printemps. This is an 85 euro silk scarf with a drill tag that will not damage it with the double marketing, printemps, printemps.com, and it has an RFID inlay in it that was specially developed where we can get read range of up to 60 centimeters. So if it's folded, if it's on a hanger, you can read it. So RFID has been trying to come to the item level for 15 years, but it was missing the vehicle. And here we found a vehicle. So when the dual tag is, is put on an item with a device like this for simpler stores, you scan the barcode and then you program the chip. So your dual tag will become smart because it's going to know its EPC number and it's going to be linked to the unique code of the RFID label. So from there, the universe of applications is huge. The first one, theft, theft mapping. You, you find a broken tag in your fitting room because they had the time, the tools. What did they steal? Pants, shirts, lingerie? You don't know. So you pick your tag, broken tag, you read it, and you know what they stole, and you remove it for your inventory. It will give you an idea as to what are your weak points to be able to improve your security. Another one, inventory stock take. It works very well because we have enough separation from one tag to the other to avoid the collisions left when the tags, the RFID tags are hang tags. So they're, they're very well read. Um, you have smart detachers. I'll speak of that a little bit later. So mo the customers that have chosen dual tag have chosen them on, on eight decision factors. First of all, they test them in stores, obviously. Uh, they, the ones that tag at logistic centers, they test them at their logistic centers to, to, to see if they really save time, that they can tag more. Then they're eager to hear the customer feedback. The dual tag will not, you know, you will be able to put it in such places where it will not bother anybody, women, men, children, when they try something on. Uh, so the customers like them. Personnel love it. The person that uses the tags, that detaches, that applies them, they love dural tags. You can be, I can give you a list of stores. You go by yourself, you ask. They, they love it. And, and they always make sure that the logos are straight. I, I, I always fear that the logos will be upside down, but during the day they put all the logos straight because that's their corporate image. Company strategy, I'll speak of that a little bit later too. European manufacturer and marketing on RFID applications. 
The applications are huge. Uh, and again, they're, they're real. This is a Motorola reader off the shelf. Uh, the, RFID, the RFID chip inside here is a standard protocol. So that's how they choose. So if somebody changes to dural tag, as of day one, they will decrease their external shrinkage by a lot. The results we have up to now is a minimum of 50%. Why? Because instead of hiding it, you put it in a very strategic position. You need tools. So when you force it, you damage it. You can't wear it, you can't sell it. So it's not that it's a magic tag. It displaces theft to the next store. Um, then decrease of time in tying and recycling. Very important. Our customers decrease that by about 60%. The time, a time to tag with a standard tag is in average 45 seconds. Total cycle. The time to tag with a dual tag is under 15 seconds with the programming of the chip. Decrease of damaged goods up to 90% because it's, an, it's a high quality sewing needle and it's protected by the parking device of the tag. So it, it doesn't get damaged when it's recycled. And the marketing impact. I'll tell you that on the, at the, uh, a little later too. So typical deployment of dual tag. Phase one, create new tagging manuals and procedures because it's, it's a whole new ball game. Equip all stores with the, the new detachers. About 30 days. Phase two, deploy drill tag in the top 10 high risk brands via in store tagging. If you tag it, you know, if a big chain tags at the distribution center, they start by tagging in store. So they stop recirculating the old tags. It's about three months. Phase three, uh, they tag all products, about six months, one, one from changing from one season to the other. And the, RF, the RFID application that start uh, taking progress depending on what's more important for each chain, uh, like uh, smart detacher, uh, fit, sorting cabin, uh, fitting cabins, inventory start take. I can speak for an hour on the applications, but I don't have the time. So applications for the drill. So once you, you change your tags for this, you have RFID in your store, you have RFID at the, at the item level that you can trace from the manufacturing point to the, to the the point the product is sold. So first thing is we have detachers that you can link to the POS system. If it's not paid, it's not opened. So for the first time, we're going to truly combat internal theft and inventory mismatch. You will not be, I mean, if you have 10 Lacoste shirts, they're all the same price, but the 10 are different sizes and colors. Typical mistake, you scan one, you put times 10. You can't do that anymore. You cannot make mistakes or, or far less because everybody knows RFID is not perfect. It's not magic. But here we're taking it to its maximum dimension. Then better inventory management. It's much better. It's not magic. You will not have a button and press and everything will be inventoried. But it's much better and much faster with less mistakes. Theft mapping. Smartphones, next generation of smartphones will be equipped with RFID readers. You, ha you have your EPC code in every tag. It's locked, it's secure. You can't change it, you can't remove it. Just think of the applications of, of, your, of your, in your, the Apple store of your, of the gap, uh, of the gap. You, you can flash, scan, put it in your basket, buy them tomorrow, uh, buy them from another store, get them shipped. I mean, there's a lot of ideas, but we need time. So here you have what we call dual tag two, which today is a six in one. You have the anti-theft on the bottom, the tag management system, RFID capabilities, high quality merchandising, one image or dynamic, uh, the needle, and the applications. Where, you know, it's like, the, remember the TVs, uh, HD ready? Here you will be RFID ready. So we, it's the beginning of what we call smart tags. So in conclusion, the dual tag has surpassed our customers' expectations by far. Not an easy sell, it's long, because they have to test all this. And it has to go by the CFO. As of today, a dual tag is much more than an EAS tag. 
It paves the way for numerous applications that will benefit various departments of a retail store. This is very important. It federates everybody in a chain. Because as you, have, you, you speak about supply chain, you speak about security, you speak about tagging, you speak about merchandising, you speak about application. So you involve almost everybody in an org organization. So it, it creates a very good teamwork and it's a very fun project to work on. So here I have, this is two weeks ago, I visited in New York a chain called Models. It's a sporting goods chain only in the New York era, area. They have about 150 stores. I don't know if you can see the printing. It says, need socks. And what's very particular is the dural tag is not on the seam. It's in the middle. So if you, if you try to force that, you will damage it. So if you don't have the key to open it, you will certainly damage it. You can do inventories. Huh? You can inventory. And guess what? Sales box went up 300%. It, it's a sport chain. Huh? So uh, white socks, everybody needs white socks. Uh, I don't know if it, it will keep on doing it. But it, it what, what they did is they used to refill the socks. Um, um, I don't know how you say it. The socks display where they sell them at the checkout once a day. Now they do it three times a day. Here you have, uh, again, neat socks, neat socks, neat socks. You, you can't miss it. You, you know what, you never put neat socks on your, on your uh, wish list. You, 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 when you go to a sport chain, you put a racket, uh, tennis balls, golf balls, tennis shoes, not white socks. So this is to remind you. So now they're going to put need vitamins, need uh, you know other stuff. They're going to have four or five different tags. And this is Printemps, uh, a very high-end uh, department store in France that swapped 100% of their tags to Dural Tag One first without RFID, and now they're swapping to our RF, uh, Dural Tag Two with RFID uh, with many uh, applications. Pierre was going to speak about that, but he's not here. I made it. 